young children love fancy dress and one of the best characters that we normally see in these fancy dress competitions is a young boy or a girl dressed up as a shepherd now shepherds are supposed to be the ones who tend sheep and these sheep they rely totally on the call of the master so if anybody calls out to them they might not look here or there but when the master calls these lambs or the sheep they will just hear the voice of the master calling and they will follow them and this is very interesting because in today our character david was a young shepherd boy now david was also when he was young a child who was kept away from his family because of his odd looking uh, character or uh, you know he didn't kind of fit into the family because some families you know they want those tall dark and handsome but david was less than ordinary so he was kept to look after the sheep and whenever important people came home they never let them know that they had a brother called david but god is not unjust God loves this boy David. And even though David is in the jungle, he's got his fears, he's got his frights, he's got days where he's, you know, totally terrified. Still David clings to God in all these times. Even till the time he becomes a king. And he was then known as king david so you can imagine if you are rejected or dejected today by your own people by your family by your friends by your teachers or anybody this is your day where you will know that when you read the psalms 23 my goodness i can read it almost 100 times because when i read it myself in about 6 days i got my biggest um, um business deal in a city where i did not know anybody or the language or anything god can give you amazing signs amazing wonders and amazing results which is also one of the reason why the psalm 23 is my favorite psalm and i would like to raise a hallelujah because this song lifts my whole heart mind body and soul even in the midst of the darkness it tells me do not fear for i am the lord your god and i am the one who's going to be giving you an abundant of signs wonders and miracles
just begin to lift up your hallelujah. Raise it like a banner. Raise it like a flag. Raise it in the middle of the storm. hallelujah and this is exactly what we're going to be learning and sing the psalm 23 like i said i could say it at least a hundred times in an hour and sometimes the lord says a half an hour is sufficient one hour of prayer and disciples went to sleep this is your time to rise because this is your house of worship and we are having a revival at home. On God 24, the Holy Spirit is a soul analysis of scriptures, observations, understanding and life's lessons. So what do you learn in the scripture? Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along to the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life life and I will dwell in the house for ever. Isn't it amazing to know that you will be dwelling in the house of the Lord forever and this is the reason why we are going to be bringing home the revival and it is the day. If you're hearing this right now this is your moment where your house is going to be turning into the house of worship because revival is at home. The observation that one learns from the Psalm 23. The shepherd's tender care, provision, symbolize God's unwavering abundance and love. Amidst life's challenges, the shepherd guides and protects 
instilling courage and peace. The imagery of the prepared table amidst enemies signifies divine provision and victory. The psalm culminates in the declaration of eternal dwelling in the house of the Lord. And that is the reason why sometimes when David was, uh, you know, being chased by king, the king wanted to kill David and David was hiding. He was stronger than the king. He could have killed the king in one blow and he almost had the king cornered. But listen to what David says. He says, It is not for me to avenge. The Lord will avenge. And if you're in this safety, uh, sticky situation, it is your time where you can say, It is not for me to avenge. My Lord will avenge. What do we understand by the Psalm 23? It embodies the essence of divine connection, portraying God as the ultimate source of sustenance and protection. It beacons us to trust in His provision and guidance even in the face of adversity. Through soul analysis, we unlock the transformative power of faith, inviting signs, wonders and miracles into our lives. And even today, if you understand what your soul analysis is all about, what the scripture is trying to tell you, what is your observation, what is your understanding, you will get to learn what your life's lesson is all about. So let the Psalm 23 be our guide as we navigate the journey of faith, unleashing the miraculous powers in every step. Trust in the shepherd's leading. Find solace and strength in his unfailing love. Embrace divine abundance and victory even in the midst of life's fiercest battles. May our lives resonate with eternal promise of dwelling in the presence of our shepherd forever. So when David was a shepherd and when he writes the psalm, he calls it the Lord is my shepherd. Now maybe you're not a shepherd, you're a teacher. So what will you say? The Lord is my teacher. Let's say you're a lawyer. The Lord is my lawyer. Let's say you're a musician. The Lord is my musician. And when you make these declarations that the Lord is my master, the Lord is my musician, the Lord depending on what kind of profession or career or anything that you are choosing. You will reach your goals faster. And you will even be sitting on a throne amongst your enemies and eating with them. And on that table, Whose cup is going to overflow? Your cup is going to overflow. And that is the spirit of God's love resting upon you. And may the spirit of God be upon you and your home. And this is exactly what we mean by saying Bring home the revival or revival at home. However you see it, but there is definitely going to be a revival at home. So join the journey, embark on the soul-stirring expedition with soul analysis as we uncover to conquer 
profound truth of divine connection. Let On God 24 be the platform where signs, wonders, and miracles unfold transforming lives and illuminating destinies. With soul analysis at the helm, let the journey of Encore 24 be marked by a miraculous touch of the divine, igniting hearts and unleashing unprecedented wonders. Remember, it is by the scriptures, observation and understanding life's lessons you are mentored and pastured for your success today may god be gracious to you bless you and make his face shine upon you that his ways may be made upon the earth and his salvation amongst all nations and if there is something that you have really liked about this ministry, about the soul analysis, about how we are looking at touching and igniting all the souls who are living at home. Be a cheerful giver. If you have received, feel free to give. Scan to donate because this ministry is here to anoint the sick, blessings for all, call for prayers, dedication and devotion, and educating young ones. We have seen a lot of miracles that happen when you begin to lead a life full of generosity. That generosity is the beginning of your prosperity. This is Dr. Teresa Michael. Thank you and God be with you. Until then, bye.